Good morning, Mayor. How are we doing today? I'm doing well, and how about you? Doing well. Jim, I'm really excited about going to visit Clara Vista. Uh, you know, that's the site where we had the old Tahiti Motel. I think it's a good project. Not only is it bringing a resource to the community, it's replacing a very troubled property for us. You know, I am so proud of all that we're doing to address homelessness in our community. It's a very complex issue, and it is seen in cities throughout California that are struggling. But we made a lot of meaningful progress. It's amazing that a small city like ours was the first to step up in Orange County and welcome not one, but three Project Home Keys into our town. And the result of our quality of life program over the last year, we've been able to bring together homeless outreach coordinators, code enforcement, and public safety, and have been able to connect with dozens of individuals with services while protecting and promoting the quality of life of our residents and businesses who truly deserve it. Project Home Key is a statewide effort to expand housing for persons experiencing homelessness or at risk of homelessness by acquiring and converting motels into long-term supportive housing. The goal of Project Home Key is to provide safety, stability, and dignity to participants and to provide an environment in which people are ready to accept additional services. The city partnered with the county and Jamboree Housing Corporation to submit three applications, all of which were selected. Two locations are already open, Aluma, formerly known as the Stanton Inn, and Clara Vista, formerly known as the Tahiti Motel, with the final location, Aurora Vista, formerly known as the Riviera Motel, set to open in 2024. The city of Stanton is proud to be providing over 150 units to support our most vulnerable community members. Hello, I am Derek Gaffney. I am the Community Outreach Coordinator for Jamboree Housing, and we are just so grateful for the genuine collaboration and partnership with the City of Stanton that has brought this much needed housing here to some of our most vulnerable community members. If you look around, you can see the improvements over the last time we were here. It's awesome, and I'm sure that the participants and those in need that will be here are gonna really appreciate having the services that we're gonna be providing to help those. Those new units look great, and I'm hopeful that the participants will be empowered and encouraged to make positive changes in their lives. There are times in each of our lives when we can use a helping hand. As a matter of fact, I recently received some assistance from our amazing paramedics at Station 46, and they're always available to assist any of our community members when they are in need. Chief Dome in this Jim Ren here with the mayor. You there? Good morning, Mayor Shaver. How are you doing today? Hey, Chief. What's going on? Uh, we just wanted to give you a call. Uh, first of all, to thank you for the great service that our firefighters and paramedics provide our community, and then an update of anything that we have going on in our town. Mayor Shaver, it's uh, great to hear from you as always. The members of 46, uh, we're committed to serving the needs of the community for providing exceptional emergency services and outstanding customer service. Whether we're responding to medical emergencies or a structure fire, we're always here and ready day or night for the citizens of Stanton. Looking back at our annual report for 2023, thought you'd be interested to know that we responded to just over 4,400 incidents within the city, which included 190 fire incidents and over 3,900 EMS calls. This makes the city of Stanton the eighth busiest engine company in the OCFA and Medic 46, the busiest medic unit in the county. And on average, our personnel respond to just over 12 calls per day. Besides these facts, we're always focused on our education and preparation and participated in multiple community outreach events uh, throughout the year as well. Our uh, education and outreach team is focused on making sure we're getting important information out to the community every month so they are better prepared when certain situations arise. We focus on fire safety in the home as well as the importance of having working smoke detectors and an escape route in the house in case there is a fire in the middle of the night. We also spend a lot of time on disaster preparedness, the goal of getting all of our community members self-sufficient for up to 72 hours in the event of like a major incident like an earthquake. Finally, one of our most important 
important audiences is our kids. We want them to grow up with a good understanding of basic fire safety and safety tips in the home, as well as being able to respond to basic emergencies within their home or the community and to start that process of taking care of any sick or injured people. Hey, Mayor, let's check in with Chief Walters over at the substation. Oh, that's a great idea, Jim. Chief Walters, I'm here with the mayor. Hey, Mr. Mayor, how are you doing today? Hey, Chief, what's going on in our town? And give me an update on our OCSD activities. We know things are going great, Mr. Mayor. You know, we brought a lot of new resources to the community this year. I think one of the biggest things this year has been our safety and the community service. You know, we've really been focused on that. We've also been really trying to promote public safety as well as providing, you know, the safety and security for our community. One thing I've been truly working on here at the station is the relationships with the city and with the city staff. And it's paid off lately based on the quality of life program. In 2023, the OCSD responded to over 20,000 calls for service. 349 for arrests, over 1,800 for citations, and over 11,000 for offenses. An average of 55 calls came in per day, and the priority one, two, and three response times were 4 minutes 50 seconds, 16 minutes 47 seconds, and 28 minutes 37 seconds on average. You know, we've brought a lot of new resources here to the community this year, which include behavioral health resources, as well as we conducted numerous special operations. You know, Stanton's not the easiest place to work, but at the same time, it gets the most rewarding. Chief, thank you for a great update. And please let all our deputies know what a great job they're doing and how much we appreciate them. And have a great day, Chief. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor.